what's up everybody? I've had this Jazzmaster Ventura 60s model for uh, a year, year and a half now, and I previously did a comparison video where I had this and I had the uh, Classic Vibe 60s uh, Squire model, uh, and I compared the two to see which one I was going to keep. I had the budget to keep the more expensive one, and obviously this is not the most expensive one, but it's sort of middle of the line. Um, so I kind of did a comparison for what I wanted to use it for, whether this was going to uh, be worth the additional money. And so now after I've had it for a year, a year and a half, I think I've come to the decision on that. Um, and I'll let you know a little bit later in the video what my thoughts are on whether I would spend the extra money again or not. But first I want to talk about uh, things I really like about this guitar and things that I kind of don't like about this guitar and uh, things that I would change if I could. All right, so first up, things I love about this guitar, uh, it has a 60s vibe. Like, it has the thicker neck. I really like that, the C-style neck. Um, it um, The the pickups sound great. They're very vintage sounding, um, and uh, it really just has that sound. And when, when, um, when you get it going through the right amp with, uh, you know, some spring reverb, get the tremolo on it a little bit here. Um, it really just sounds great. It just has that Jazzmaster sound, right? So I really love that about it. I love the color. Um, it uh, It's not too heavy. It's sort of, you know, in the middle. I've played heavier Jazzmasters than and this one. I've only played it once or twice live, um, and it's very, very comfortable guitar. This will be my main guitar. But if I, you know, <laughs> if I ever play out again, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I mean, the studio works great. I've recorded it on a few songs. And it stays in tune very, very well. I don't have any issues with the bridge, like a lot of people have, have uh, noticed. Um, I do use a heavier gauge string. Like, I think that these are uh, D'Addario mediums. I'll show us a picture here on the screen of the strings I'm currently using for this. Um, but all in all, it's a fantastic guitar. Things I don't really like about it, it's super noisy. Now, I it kind of expected this with the vintage model and the vintage pickups. You know, if I wanted a silent one, they they make you know, much quieter jazz masters like the J Masses version or some of the other ones with the hotter pickups. Uh, they do something, wind it more, whatever it is, but it cuts out the, the noise for it. These are fairly noisy, especially when I run it through my vintage tube amps. Um, so I'm still working on that. Uh, I have had some success with uh, power conditioning on the amp a little bit. It cuts out some of it, but you know, it's a vintage sounding guitar and so it's going to have that noise. Some of that noise is really cool when you put effects on it and you kind of bang around a little bit. You kind of get some of that ambient sound. That's kind of neat, but it is a noisy guitar. Um, the other thing that I'm not real wild about is sometimes the uh, the whammy arm will will kind of stick and kind of pop a little bit. I think, I'm not sure if you could hear it right then. And the, the locking mechanism here just does not not lock it at all. So it makes it a little bit sketchy when you're kind of changing strings and you want it to kind of stay at one place and you're trying to get it all tuned up. So I don't know, I probably could take this tailpiece off and, and get in there and figure that out. And for that matter, I probably could just take this off and line the, the cavity with some foil or something like that and uh, or copper and that would probably would uh, ground it better and probably reduce a lot of that noise. And I don't know, maybe I'll find someone here locally. I just moved to a new town, so maybe I'll find someone here that can uh, work on it make it a little bit better for me. Um, but anyway, those are really the only complaints I have about it. Uh, it's a fantastic guitar. And so, I mean, I guess now would I spend the additional money again on this? I mean, it was like double the cost. I think this was almost a thousand dollars and the classic vibe was around four or $500. Um, you know, yeah, I would do that because I had the budget for it. I had, um, some money saved up that I was going to buy a guitar. I have always bought, you know, cheaper Squire type guitars, and so I really wanted to um, get a slightly better instrument. Um, I did play uh, the uh, American version, and it, there wasn't that much of a difference to me. Um, so I'm pretty happy with with this one. Um, anyway, leave in the comments if you have any um, thing to say about this. If you have one, if you like it, if you like the classic vibe better, I had a lot of uh, good comments on the previous video. Um, talking about things that people had done with their classic vibe video, uh, classic vibe guitars to make them better. And I certainly could have gone that path, but you know, I'm happy that I spent the money on this and, and I would do it again if I had the budget. So anyway, thanks for watching.